We're here with the Keller sisters, Anna Sophia Keller and younger sister Isabella Keller. Anna, you were a really good runner in high school, 2017 St. Anthony High School grad. Tell me, tell me about your career in high school from cross country to track. Um, yeah, so cross country is uh, an adjustment from grade school because you add the extra mile. So it was uh, three mile uh, for cross country. I know that my dad was trying to help me get more of that endurance to make sure I would be able to hold on my speed that I had from grade school into that three miles. Um, so it was really exciting seeing like my success my freshman year, kind of like how she did with her freshman year in cross country. Um, and then just do using that momentum for track. Uh, with track, I, the mile was always my favorite for high school. Um, I kind of like doing the shorter events, just kind of getting it over with and sprinting at the end. Um, so uh, going into that, um, freshman year, I know that I fell in that 3200, which I was surprised they didn't talk about the other day, because <laughs> um, they mentioned it every time I ran there after that. Uh, but, but yeah, uh, that was really exciting my freshman year for track, uh, going in after having that race and then coming back, running the mile, um, and using that momentum for the rest of my uh, high school career. and. Um, just trying to improve on each of my times. I believe my best times were probably my junior year of high school. Um, but then just looking forward to the next thing, I was really excited about, you know, going to college and um, running in college and everything like that. Izzy, what was it like watching your sister run, knowing that I want to be like her someday? Yeah, it was amazing, always getting to grow up with her. And, you know, our age gap, it was pretty large, so... You know, I don't remember like everything, you know, from all her races whenever I was little because, you know, I was still really young even whenever she was still in high school. So I remember more vividly like, you know, her senior year and things like that. But she was always so inspiring to me and she was just so fast. And I just always wanted to be like her whenever I was little. If you had to pick one sport, cross country or track, Anna, what would it be? Um, okay, well, it depends. What distance would the cross country be at then? <laughs> because I would say I like the team aspect of cross country better and just like having the courses and you know, you're not there all day doing multiple events. Um, but I know in college we did a 6k and that was kind of pushing my limits I wasn't like I could do the 5k but after that I kind of my performance kind of went off um, so it if it, it's a shorter I'd say cross country but if we had to do a 6k then I would say track just because I'm definitely uh, stronger suited for a slightly shorter events I would say definitely cross country I just I feel like the longer the distance, the better for me. I love doing the mile and everything, but like, I love like three miles. I just, you know, kind of groove into my pace and just kind of get to zone out like people and everything. And I love running through woods like all the time. And I just love kind of like the different courses you can always go to every meet. And you know, I love running on grass too. It just feels nice. And yeah, I like the longer races too, so. It's really fun doing cross country. Uh, so I'd say probably my favorite course in high school, either the the state one at Detweiler Park, because I think that one's a nice one. Um, but then also like before like postseason, maybe like St. Joe Ogden, because that's a like road race. Uh, and so I, I really like that one where you can always get a pretty good time. And actually my first two years, it was just a two mile for the girls. And then the last two years is a three mile. So um, I kind of like doing the two mile one because I like the shorter. But um, yeah, no, I really liked that one uh, just because you could get pretty good time since it was a road race. And I kind of liked wearing flats at the time. Uh, they didn't have like all the fancy spikes they have now. So I kind of liked using the, the road racing flats. As your dad, but also as your coach in high school, Anna, what was it like having him helping you out, molding you along to be the successful runner you were? Yeah, no, it was really nice having my dad as my coach, and since he can like see everything that I'm doing, so he knew 
kind of like what my school schedule was like if I had tests coming up if I was stressed because of other aspects of my life um, he knew exactly what I was working out when we could work out I mean we have all this land over here that we can do workouts in so it was nice knowing that like he was able to create like the perfect workouts for me and knowing everything else that was like going on throughout my day so I think it was really uh, nice and helpful knowing that uh, I could have a personal coach in that sense that could you know see all the little details of my life and inform um, specific workouts and uh, practices for me to to be the best I could be. How much has he helped you out just for one year? Yeah he always you know pushes me to be my best and it's you know awesome to be able to always have him you know there for you and to help you along the way and so yeah it's just pretty cool to be able to you know improve a lot over a year and just you know see big changes there. Just talk about the pressure that goes along because the Keller name is very well known for cross country and track but you guys try to live up to the pressure or control what you can control? Um, I would say I kind of did bad under pressure. I put way too much pressure on myself. I would stress myself out way too much before me, especially in college too. Um, but but yeah, no, I, I wasn't very great at controlling that. I tried to pretend like it did. People people were like, oh, we thought that you were like pretty chill before your races. Absolutely not, not, and not in my head at all whatsoever. Like the only thing I could think of that would help me um, before races like in high school that would calm me down somewhat was praying the rosary. I did that before all of my meets and that helped, but oh my gosh, like I, like, I could have a time that was faster by like a minute in the two mile and I'd still freak out at state. I'd be like, what happens? What if I like fall and I can't get up or if I break something, like I would freak out. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, was, I was crazy. When you are running, do you feel the pressure on your side trying to live up to your sister's standards? Um, I would say sometimes I do, you know, for like really big meets, I might feel a little bit of pressure just, you know, wanting to, you know, you know, live up to our name and everything and just like doing really well and keeping that. But I would say, you know, most of the time I f don't feel like too nervous. I just try to, you know, control what I can control and just kind of stay calm and just, you know, be ready. What would be the biggest honor or accolade you received in high school? Uh, I would say probably the Gatorade Cross Country Player of the Year. Uh, and the reason why I would say that, so I did my freshman year, my senior year, and so that award, they only give it to one um, athlete out of the sport for the whole state. And so I know in um, Illinois, we have three classes for running, whether it's cross country and track. And so this is going to the one person that would be the best out of all of those classes. So that's why I would say probably the, the Gatorade Player of the Year award. Izzy, what is an accolade or achievement goal you would like to achieve over your sister? Yeah, I mean, the Gatorade Award, I won that in cross country this fall as well. And yeah, it was just such an honor to receive that. And yeah, one of my goals would be, you know, to be able to receive that all four of my years throughout high school for cross country. And hopefully maybe one year in track as well, but that's, you know, hard. There's so many great athletes in field events and sprints and everything. But I would also, you know, love to win um, NXN Nike Cross Nationals one year. That would be pretty amazing. Just, you know, everybody the best in the country goes there to compete in Oregon. And that would be pretty amazing. Anna, from your high school to your college career at Notre Dame, your high school career, you had the, it wasn't, I wouldn't call it swimmer's mentality, but like when you ran, you were moving your head back and forth. Like, how did you change your mentality from that, from high school to college? Because it went away just like that. Yeah, I know people would 
talk about my bobble head when I would run. Um, I, to be honest, I didn't feel it at all. Like, like people are like, oh, does she get dizzy? Or does she try to keep track with time by doing that? Which I don't know how you do that. Um, but I, I didn't feel my head move at all during high school. I don't know. It did move. Obviously, I can see from videos. Um, but I didn't feel it move. Like, I, I guess my eyes must have stayed straight, where, whereas everything else moved. Uh, but yeah, no, when I went to college, just randomly stopped. I, I don't know. It just stopped. I didn't. I never noticed any difference, but it just, it just stopped after that. All right, let's start with number five. All right, so Anna Sophia Keller is number five. She's from Effingham, St. Anthony. She is incredible, guys. Uh, multiple times state champion. She's only not won a state championship in the events that she's run one time. Think wow. About that. But, and everything she's done in high school, she's a distance runner uh, in cross country. She's uh, the three-time defending state champ. She's going to be a senior this year. Uh, she's won it all three races she's run at the, at the state cross country meet. Uh, as far as the state track meet, which is the video you're seeing here, she has dominated that as well. Her freshman year was the only year she did not win a state title, and that's because uh, she fell in, in the 3200-meter uh, race. Then we've got some video of that coming up here. But you can just see how she runs. She puts everything she has yeah. into what she's doing and how she's running and it's incredible you see her arms moving there i mean she she puts her whole body into it and she's not very big she's probably only about five foot one or five foot two uh but she she gives it everything she has and that's what i love about an athlete and a competitor is that see there's no one even around her here i mean she she blows away the field she finished uh, almost a minute faster than uh, her other competitors and this is where she fell right here this so this was back in 2014 her freshman year she fell and still finished the 3200 in 10 minutes and 22 seconds. She, to me, that's incredible. She just has gotten it out. I know. She, it's like she puts it all out on the floor. Like, yeah. She, yeah that's, that's, what, that's what I love about her. And I just, you feel that competitive spirit, you know, from an athlete. And I think that's why we love athletics is we see, you know, people just giving it their all. Izzy, do you remember what your sister's times were in cross country and track? Yeah, I'm pretty sure her best time at least at Detweiler Park in um, State Cross Country, was a 1620, and I believe she did that her junior year. And then um, St. Joe Ogden, that's a road race, so I know that one was a little bit of a faster course. I'm not sure what that time was, but it is faster, I know, than the Detweiler time. Um, and then her times in track, her two mile was a 1022, and then her mile was a 452. Did you two dream of being such great runners in cross country and track, or was was this kind of the envision as a young age? Uh, I would say definitely something in sports. So my dad obviously loved sports. My both my brothers were in a lot of sports, and we were just a very active family. So I feel like probably the first thing when I was really little was I wanted to be a professional soccer player. I liked watching soccer and Mia Hamm and I was like, oh, I want to be like that. But then after a while then, um, cause we all did swimming. So then once I got into swimming and I was good at that, I was like, oh, now I want to be a professional swimmer. And then <laughs> once we started, finally got into running kind of through swimming cause we did dry land training and I saw that um, my brothers and I were really good at running and eventually started doing track and cross country. Then it was, okay, now I want to be a track and cross country athlete. So, and I kind of always, since I was really little, even like in sixth grade or so, kind of wanted to be a collegiate athlete in running and track. So, At what point did you realize that Notre Dame was a school for you and you for sure had the answer? Um, so... Notre Dame actually the, the he's still the current coach right now coach Sparks um, he when I was a freshman he was coaching um, at SAU Carbondale and so one of the first indoor track meets in high school is at SAU Carbondale or at least it was whenever I was in a freshman in high school and um, whenever I was checking in and stuff I was talking to him and my dad um, and so I was like, oh, he seems like a good coach. Like, I don't know, like based off of what my dad and him are talking about. And um, then the next year, I think immediately he became the coach at Notre Dame. And I was like, oh, well, that's a school that I feel like I'd be more interested in um, just because the academics are really well uh, and athletically they do well. Um, and it was a Catholic school. So that was that was a big thing, too. Um, but. Yeah, I wanted to keep my options open as far as like once it got to that time where we could communicate with coaches. Um, I think that's in the summer of after our junior year. I don't remember. The rules have been changed a lot since then. Um, but 
Um, I really kind of always wanted to be Notre Dame, but I wanted to make sure I kept my options open. But I think by, by the um, fall of my senior year, uh, I, I wanted it to be there, but I didn't sign until I think May, or no, not May, March of my senior year. Like biggest takeaways from your career there? Um, I would say overall, I wasn't super pleased with my, my performances at Notre Dame. I feel like I, I definitely could have done a lot better. I just mentally wasn't in the right headspace to do well. I kind of just freaked myself out too much. Like honestly, this past, um, I graduated with my master's last year because I went back to run again. Um, I ran faster in my practices, like full on faster than I did in my meets, <laughs> if that puts anything into perspective. Um, but I would say, like, I went to nationals in at least one of the three sports each year. So the and just being there with my teammates and um, being able to accomplish those things was was exciting. Izzy, what would be some of the biggest takeaways from your freshman year going to state, getting the, the state title in the two mile and second and state in the mile? Yeah, it, you know, means a lot to me to be able to do that, you know, from cross country and then also do well in track. Um, so yeah, I just, you know, try to enjoy every moment of it and just, you know, improve in like little areas as well too. Champion cross country in 1A. Isabella Keller. In third place, there's a three-way draw. Raven Bishop. She got the cross-country championship, and now she's taking home the 3,200 meters, running most of the race all by herself. And we want to check the time as it comes in. The record is 10, 13, 24. And in first place, with a time of 10, 34, point 07, from St. Anthony in Effingham, is a killer. You two are both very humble, um, and that says a lot about the character you two have. Where do you get that from? Uh, I would say definitely from our faith. I We've grown up in a Catholic home where our parents taught us a lot of um, those values and I've been to a Catholic school my whole life. She so far has also been to Catholic school her whole life and I think that the values that they instill in us there um, and you know going to church with our school and every Sunday was a big part of that just knowing that you know we can do so much ourselves, but all the gifts that God has given us, it's really it's really all from Him. So. What would be your favorite part about watching Izzy run? Oh, I just love seeing this little tiny girl just out there crushing it. Like, I don't know if you pay attention to her turnover, because she's a lot shorter than everyone else out there. Her turnover is like twice as fast as everybody else. And just seeing, I'm like, is she already sprinting at this point? But no, she just keeps on getting faster. And like, lapping people and it's just so exciting to see her be such a tough competitor out there especially like when she did the nike cross nationals she got eighth as a freshman which is better than i ever placed out there and it was there's this puddle that was like knee deep on her and she just still like powered through it and was like crushing it like it's just incredible to see how amazing that she does and that she's like already beating all my records i just can't wait to see um, where the end of her high school career takes her, so. What would be your biggest takeaway from when you were a swimmer in high school? Um, I think that with swimming, um, so we started kind of swimming all year round when we were about six years old. Uh, that really helped with our endurance um, and to help 
build our endurance for being able to be distance runners. So we wouldn't have to do a ton of training as far as like miles, like running, you know, these long runs that a lot of people do, like go and run 10, 12 miles, 15, um, and doing that as a warm up. Swimming was kind of that base for us to build that endurance even when you're doing shorter stuff. You don't have a lot of break. It was more like five, 15 seconds break and you're going again. And so that really helped um, build our endurance and use other muscles that you wouldn't use when you're running to kind of build that base um, and get your legs off the ground, help with injury prevention. And so um, even though I focus obviously way more on running than I did swimming, I would at least try to swim once or twice a week um, in high school uh, while I was in the main part of my um, track and cross country season to kind of help keep that base um, and then also help with injury prevention. How critical was it for you when you were swimming to stay in shape for running, but how much did you actually enjoy swimming? Uh, yeah, no, swimming um, wasn't, wasn't my favorite thing to do. Um, especially also because whenever I swim, we didn't have an indoor pool here in Effingham, so we had to drive all the way to Centralia, and I would have to do homework in the car there and coming back. Um, so that was one thing, but I also just, did not like getting wet. Um, I knew I needed to do it to help with my training and that was something that really helped with my running, um, with endurance and injury prevention, but I I just do not like getting wet. I, I don't know, it was just annoying having to wash my hair all the time. It also like bleached my hair a little bit. Like now my hair is darker because I haven't <laughs> swam as much. Um, but yeah, no, now I strategically plan out my swimming workouts to when I need to wash my hair because I don't like doing that. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't really enjoy it very much, like the competitive part of swimming and just training for it. But I mean, I knew that I had to do it, you know, to help my training for running and everything. And I'm a very injury prone person. And so it just kind of helps for that. But yeah, I just, I don't like being cold and I get cold easily. So whenever I get in the water, I just get cold really easy. And I mean, Whenever I was little, I was pretty good, but I kind of just didn't improve a lot in my swimming. So that kind of, I guess, had an effect on me, like not li liking it as well. Do you guys critique each other or is it more of a individual help each other out to like, okay, I can do this better, but maybe I need to get some advice from the, from the sis? Yeah, I would say definitely I'm hard on myself and, you know, inside I always like know what I could have done better and like what I need to improve on. So yeah, I definitely critique myself and everything, but I get, you know, advice from my sister. Like she tries to help me obviously, cause she wants me to do well. And so, you know, I kind of take that with, you know, what I think I need to do better too. And just kind of, you know, put it all together to see what works best. Yeah, no, as well, definitely knows what she's doing. She's very smart. She's very um, thoughtful in all of her training and um, how to what she needs to improve on everything I'm kind of more just like her hype woman to make sure that she doesn't beat herself up too much so um, but yeah no she's she's good how much time between cross country and track when you didn't take time off did you put into it um to be honest I don't think I ever really took like time off time off like I wouldn't be doing you know my usual track workouts or cross country workouts but um, we would there, that's kind of a prime swim team time. Um, so we would swim, but I would still run pretty much every day, almost every day at least, um, just to, to you know keep your, your legs moving and everything. Um, but probably starting getting into workouts again, maybe after like three weeks or so. Maybe not, not full on workouts, but like slowly getting into it just cause when does it, the indoor track season even start? It's like remember. middle of February. February, yeah. So, I mean, you get, what, December and January, and that's pretty much it. So, kind of need to get workouts going in already after about a month, so. Izzy, as a younger age freshman, how are you training for it as well? Yeah, it's pretty similar to what Anna Sophia said. Just, yeah, I definitely do more swimming 
during the winter months than I would during like the actual season. Like instead of, you know, twice a week, it maybe like four times a week still and like longer workouts too in swimming, but still running, you know, almost every day, like four times a week or so. And just kind of not doing like maybe as intensive workouts, but just like trying to build up your endurance and build up strength. What would be the favorite part to running? Um, probably wedding. <laughs> I feel like, like since I had success even like in fifth grade and stuff, it made me enjoy the sport to to where uh, I continue to see success. But even when I didn't have that success in college, I still just enjoyed it because of all what I had in um, grade school and high school and kind of just where it brought me. Like it brought me to Notre Dame and well, that wasn't the experience I was hoping for as far as running there. Um, it was the perfect place for me as far as every other aspect of my life, so. Yeah, so my favorite part, I mean, obviously winning is amazing too, but you know, going to bigger meets, I mean, I still, you know, kind of get a little annoyed at myself even if I don't win, but I know I can't, you know, at every meet, you know, racing against the best in the country, like national meets and stuff, but it was still pretty cool, you know, going to like different races, getting to compete against people who you know are still better than you, but like it's still fun to know that you're close to them and competing with them. And also um, with running, you have to eat a lot to make sure you know you're replenishing your muscles and everything. And I love food, so. <laughs> when you're such a distance runner, you, you run the mile, you run the two mile, how do you prepare yourself mentally to run each, run each race when you have to focus on the next race, you gotta forget about the one you just ran. Yeah, so, you know, it's always even harder whenever you have a bad race first because, you know, you're disappointed after that and you get kind of angry, but you know that you have to, you know, just stay focused for the next race and stay loose. And usually at like bigger meets, there's a long break in between the two mile and the mile. So you kind of have to, you know, wait around for a while and just kind of you know, stay loose and focus on your next race strategy. Would you rather run the mile or the two mile, Izzy? Um, definitely the two mile. I just like the longer races, just, you know, the more endurance type races and having more time to, you know, you know, figure out your race strategy and plan and everything. And What would be your favorite part about watching Izzy run? Um, well, not just the, that she is running and beating all my records, but also just the, how she goes out there and competes. Like, she's not afraid to, to compete against people who are, like, two feet taller than her, who are three years older than her. She's just a fighter out there, and it's super exciting to see her um, just be a tough competitor and not afraid to race people. Being a Keller and the amount of ex – ex er, you guys have excelled so well in the running. Uh, it's super exciting to to see Isabella like get those accomplishments because I know that they they mentioned me and how like she's my little sister and that she's following my footsteps but it's really her time to shine and I'm super excited to see her getting that spotlight. Yeah it's just pretty special you know I love my sister so much and it's amazing to be able to follow in her footsteps and you know like having her as a role model and everything and, you know, just trying to, you know, do my best and, you know, trying to compete. Izzy, would your sister Anna be your biggest role model? Yeah, definitely. Just, you know, having, you know, your sister there and somebody to play with and spend time with in your family. Um, yeah, she just, you know, was so inspiring and I just loved running so much. And so that's like one of my favorite things to do and so when she was so amazing at running it just inspired me to want to do the same thing she did and just follow in her footsteps um so yeah kind of going off with Isabella like I don't know how she if she knows this but she's a big reason as to why I wanted to be that kind of role model um I feel like there before she was into running stuff there were other younger girls reaching out in social media or whatever saying that they looked up to me and I wanted to be a person that people would want to look up to um, with being successful and running um, and my faith helping me through that um, and just 
wanting to be someone that people looked up to in, in all aspects of life when, when they pay attention to you. It's, it's what you do um, in school. It's how you live out your life. And so I wanted to be someone who, who cared about all of that and um, show that it's important um, to be a well-rounded person in, in all aspects of your life. So I don't know how much people realize that them saying that to me has made me want to be a role model for them. Izzy, Anna, Peter, they surprised you Thursday at State Track. What was that moment like for you, knowing that your family was in attendance to watch you run as a freshman? Yeah, it was pretty amazing, you know, having my siblings there since I don't get to see them very often. And it's kind of sad that my other brother wasn't able to be here. But it was awesome, you know, I wasn't expecting that. I was just expecting my mom and my dad. And so, you know, it made me just really want to try my hardest and do my best in front of them. You said your sister surprised you today. Um, yeah. What's that mean to you to have your sister in, I mean, when you already broke her record as a freshman? Yeah, it's pretty amazing. Just, you know, of course you always want to try hard, but whenever you have your family there with you, it just like makes you want to try even harder. So it's just pretty awesome. For you, Anna, when it comes to watching her run, when you surprised her, what was the motion of mentality of, Man, she's doing so well. We're so proud of to, to watch Izzy do her thing. Yeah, no, I get so nervous for her at like those needs and stuff because I remember how I felt when I was there. I was like getting like PTSD. I'm like, oh, I'm glad I'm not the one stressing out about racing. So I did I did some of the stressing for her because I I just want everything and more for her. Like seeing her success and how she's um, you know doing what I did but but better I just want all of that and more for her I just want to see her success get all those records get get more state titles get national titles um get those scholarships coming in whenever you're a senior so I just I'm just excited for where it's going to take her and I just hope that she keeps on enjoying it and stayed healthy and and we'll see where it goes from there Izzy for your sophomore year what will be your number one goal I would say, you know, just for the whole year, um, you know, being able to win the Triple Crown, you know, winning state in the two-mile mile in cross country. Um, another goal that would be, it would be pretty amazing to be to win NXN. Um, that would be pretty hard, but, you know, you never know what the day will be like, so that would be pretty cool. How proud are you of her? Um, just, just... The proudness of an older sister of seeing how much she's excelled and just what she has for a future of her ceiling hasn't even hit her yet. No, I mean, words can't describe how proud I am of, the, of her. Like, not just even with how well she does in running and how fast she is for how small she is, but um, just even in school, like, she's one of the smartest 15-year-old girls that I've like the she is the smartest 15 year old girl i've ever met like she's incredibly intelligent uh and that's going to take her a long way and i think that also helps with um with her running too like she knows what to do she she's smart about that um and she's just incredible she has so much talent and um i just hope that she she realizes that and it's going to take her a long way so i i mean words can't describe how incredible she is and how proud i am of where she's been just based off of her freshman year so girls i appreciate it isabella keller sister anna sophia keller the keller sisters have had so much success in high school keller looks to continue the dominance as a freshman going into sophomore year anna and isabella thank you for talking to me i appreciate it thank you so much no it's been a pleasure it's a lot of fun uh getting to to talk about our stories and and part of our journey with you so yeah we're excited for for the future and thanks for everything